Hi, in this Bloomberg video tutorial, we are going to be looking at Bloomberg intelligence within the Bloomberg terminal. Once logged in, type the shortcut BI into the Bloomberg terminal. Unlike in previous videos, you do not need to enter your specific company first, but instead know what industry it is in. Because this is the School of Journalism and Mass Communication, we are going to select Communications under the Sectors tab. Under Media, select the appropriate industry. As an example, we will look at Entertainment Content, which can be identified by the shortcut B-I-D-V-E-N-N. The information that will be the most useful to you is located under the Data Library section in the right-hand column, here. When clicking on Featured, you are given an overview of data that influences that particular market. For this example, data such as disposable income and gross domestic product are used to determine what the average person can spend on entertainment by year. By clicking the graph icons next to the information, you get a visual representation of the data over time. Under the Market Share tab, you will see the amount of the market that each corporation in the industry possesses. There is also financial data that reflects different aspects of the market, such as advertising revenue and affiliate revenue. At the top of the screen are tabs with options to look through different types of information related to market share. While this example is looking at media networks, data concerning other aspects of the industry, such as films and other businesses, such as theme parks, are available. Moving on to the Macro tab, this shows more in-depth economic and social information, such as population, consumer expenditure, and percentage of U.S. households with a TV, in order to better understand the projections and revenue of the chosen industry. Moving on to the Industry tab, the data describes the amount of money in different kinds of revenue, such as advertising, affiliate, and operating revenue. Many aspects of this information can also be shown through differing tabs at the top, depicting specific industry areas. Options include film, box office, and networks, but these options vary across each industry. The graphing function is important for comparing the different types of revenue across one type of entertainment industry, and the charts are in real time. As shown in previous videos, the graphs are all customizable in various ways. Once in the graph section, just click Show Data here, and it will take you back to the data lists. The final tab that will be important is the Company tab. The data here shows things like sales growth, profitability, and cash flow over time. A feature that can help when looking at specific companies is the Select Companies button. This allows you to tick the boxes of the specific companies that you would like information for. Click the Update button, and the results will filter to only the companies that you chose. The data that we have just viewed is useful to the entertainment industry. Note that data elements may not be labeled the same across different industries, such as internet and publishing. Those industries may have different but equally important information listed under their respective data library sections. To learn more, check out our other Bloomberg Terminal videos or ask a staff member at the Park Library.